Kodak Black has officially just handed himself a life sentence in prison because of what we have to talk about in this video. If you are a Kodak Black fan, make sure you watch this video until the end because his career could officially be over after his recent events in prison. Also, if you are a Kodak Black fan, leave a like on this video and if you would like to enter our AirPod 2 giveaway, just subscribe to the channel and comment your favorite song by Kodak Black. Now, Kodak Black is a very well-known name in the rap industry, and he has released many hit songs that landed him many fans and followers. Even if you don't like Kodak, there is no denying that he is a very talented artist, and he did make a very high rise in the rap industry, made a big name for himself, but he has recently lost a lot of respect. This is due to a lot of reasons. One reason that many of you may know about is... After Nipsey Hussle passed, Kodak was disrespectfully making comments, didn't even give it time, and this did lose him a lot of respect, not only by his fans, but a lot of other artists in the industry. And besides losing respect, he is constantly throwing his success based off of his bad decisions. He made a great rise in the industry, but he is also making a very great fall. He has constantly been in and out of prison, and no matter how many breaks he continues to catch, he never learns from his mistakes, and he gets himself in trouble and sent right back. But this time, he has made some serious mistakes in prison, which could officially keep him locked up for the remainder of his life. For those who don't know Kodak's history, he has a timeline of crimes throughout many years of his career, starting in 2015 when he was arrested for kidnapping, battery, and other charges. He was only 18 at the time, and not even a year later, in the same year, in December, he was arrested for marijuana possession. Just two months after he was charged with drug possession in addition to more severe crimes, he was arrested in St. Lucie County for possession of less than two pounds of marijuana, and he was also charged for having drug paraphernalia on him. Then, continuing down, in 2016, he was arrested multiple times, starting in February when he was arrested for sexual battery after a female allegedly said that he attacked her. Shortly after that incident, Kodak was allegedly seen buying marijuana from a drug dealer. He drove away, and when police tried to pull him over, he attempted to evade arrest, and he also threw a gun from his car, which they did find, and they arrested him for possessing a weapon by a convicted felon, possession of marijuana, and a number of traffic violations. To add to that, in May, he was arrested again. This time, it was open warrants related to the previous charge of false imprisonment and armed robbery. While he was in jail for this arrest, warrants for the criminal sexual misconduct case and the marijuana possession charge from December were brought to the light. And then in August 2016, after three months of being in jail, Kodak was sentenced in August to one year of house arrest and five years of probation. Honestly, that's not that bad for everything that he has done and his criminal record that started after he was 18. He actually is catching a couple breaks. He does have good lawyers, you know, most likely due to the money that he can afford. But he did not stop there. In September 2016, a month later, he pleaded no contest to the St. Lucie possession case and he was sentenced to 120 days in prison. Finally got some prison time after that. Then he was released from jail and extradited to South Carolina to face the sexual battery charge. And then in December 1st, as predicted, Kodak was freed after posting a $100,000 bond for the sexual battery charge. And right after, in February 2017, after appearing in court, Kodak was arrested for violating the terms of his house arrest related to the charges of false imprisonment in May. He was taken into custody even though charges weren't formally filed against him, but he was identified in court by the woman that he punched and kicked at the club, and police incident report was presented in court. Then, not sure after, April to May, he had an angry outburst and was sentenced in house arrest violation. This happened after he grabbed his anger management counselor by the arm. She called 911 saying that he refused to leave because he was intentionally disrupting the session by burping repeatedly. Five days later, he was found guilty on five counts of violating his house arrest. And on May 4th, he was sentenced to 364 days in prison with the possibility of early release if he completed a life skills course, which he did complete. And he was released after serving 97 days. Then, January 2018th, arrest for weapons and drug possession and child neglect. That was due to a video showing Kodak in his home, surrounded by drugs and weapons with his child nearby. He was arrested for grand theft of a firearm, 
two charges of a weapon, possession of weapon or ammo, and possession of cannabis over 20 grams with child neglect. A month later, his lawyers were able to get the charges of grand theft, child neglect, and possession of a weapon by a felon dropped. His lawyers obviously are very good because he continues to catch breaks in my eyes after constantly being in and out of prison. That doesn't end there when in April 2018, that was when he faced his sentencing for the January arrest. He pleaded not guilty and was sentenced to 364 days in prison for the remaining charges stemming from the January arrest. He got credit for 90 days of time served while he was awaiting trial and was released in August of that year. Which brings us to our most current arrest and that happened at Rolling Loud in 2019 when Kodak, Black, and a couple others were apprehended in Miami for weapons possessions, which is currently why he is in prison right now, waiting for his sentencing. After some new updates, he may be facing a lot longer, and I personally think that this could be the end of Kodak's career, maybe even his freedom altogether. This just happened very recently when Kodak Black was involved in a prison fight in Miami on Tuesday night. It left one guard hospitalized. The fight started between two inmates, he kicked the guard in the groin while he was attempting to break up the altercation. The injured guard was actually taken to the hospital where he underwent surgery. His current condition is unknown, but regardless if his injuries are serious or not, which they do sound serious since he did go under surgery, that is probably the worst thing Kodak could have done for his career and his life because... He's already in trouble waiting his sentencing scheduled for November 13th. He has a long history of criminal activity being in and out of jail. And now he has assaulted a prison guard. This is very bad. And it, in my opinion, could have him locked up for the rest of his life. And if somehow he does not get charged for this in a very bad way or his lawyers continue to catch him breaks, regardless, he is going to spend a lot of time in prison for this. He could have possibly, you know, made a deal and got out for his current situation that he is in prison for. But now that he's in prison, already on, you know, a short leash with the law, constantly getting himself in and out of prison, this was the worst thing he could have possibly done for himself. Fighting an inmate is one thing, but when you hurt a prison guard, it's just a whole different level. And I truly think that Kodak Black has made his last worst decision because he could have officially just ended not only his career, but any chance of freedom that he had. So with that being said, I am going to end the video here. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. And also, if you are a Kodak fan, leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new.